first music store, and it's one of the simplest linear instruments. There's just one cross fingering on it, and uh, you can go do, you know, you can play anything with the tin whistle. Basically. Very portable, very, very portable. affordable. And then, then I moved on to uh, the, the spoons. When I was a kid, I started off playing metal spoons, but they don't sound as good as wooden spoons, and they hurt a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> but the hardest thing about spoon playing is the hold. Once you've got the hold, and they, they're not flopping all over the place, then you cut your hand, you can get different sounds. You can run it down your outstretched fingers, like that. You can run it, uh, you can hit it with the back of your hand and do a flick. So then when you combine that with your knee, you get a roll. You can run it down your sleeve if you're wearing something solid that you can do. You can do it all join in with us. It's, it's a song about a young girl from Dublin named Molly Malone. And she would wheel her cart filled with fish and shellfish along the streets of Dublin, crying cockles and mussels, alive, alive, alive. There are two ranges of recorder lower than the bass recorder. There's a contra bass recorder and there's a gross bass recorder. It's so tall that you have to stand on a little step unit in order to play it. I tried one in California once and I was able to get about three notes because my fingers are way too short and the spread is way too wide. You know. So I've worked my way up through the recorder family until we get to the the baby recorder. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. This is a recorder that's an octave above the soprano recorder. It's called a Garkmein, which is the very, 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 very precise German word for smaller than small. <laughs> <laughs> so the bass sounds like this. It's a very soft. Hang on. Hang on. It's very soft. soft and very low and this is loud and high so the longer or the instrument the lower the sound and the shorter the instrument the higher the sound that's a principle a physical principle that exists in all instruments in the length of a string so and by the way there will be a test <laughs> before you're allowed to play
is to be made from a horn of a wild goat found in Germany. They're called Gemsen. And when I lived in Germany, I was hiding in the Bavarian Alps for a week, and I saw a herd of these Gemsen. They're like a mixture between an antelope and a small goat, but they're protected. So this is made from a cow's horn. This is an alto Gemsen horn. It sounds like this on its own. This, like this instrument, are both stops on the church pipe organ. It has a Gems horn stop and it has a Krum horn stop. Krum, from the German for curd. Again, it's a capped double reed instrument. It's got a big double reed, a bit bigger than a bassoon. Oh. And this is the bass Krum horn. <laughs> And um, there are huge variety families of um, instruments in the Renaissance, cat double reed instruments, double reed instruments like the antecedent predecessor. It years and is a fusion of two instruments. The Persian setar is a three-stringed instrument made out of a gourd with a long neck. It was combined with the Indian veena, a long-necked instrument with gourds on both ends, to create the sitar. The sitar went through mod many modifications until about 150 years ago it was modernized with brass frets that arch over the top of the neck, a scalloped neck so that the sympathetic strings can ride along the bottom of the fretboard. There are 20 strings on the modern sitar, two layers of strings. The top bridge holds seven main playing strings, of which three are drones. They provide a layer of harmony. Three rhythm strings, like the fifth string on a five-string banjo, it keeps the rhythm going, and one main playing string. The sound travels down through the larger bridge into the body of the instrument and causes a smaller secondary bridge with 13 sympathetic resonating strings on it to vibrate. So when you hit a note on top, the corresponding strings underneath answer back in an echo like this.
a video and not a picture.